Hey Aquarius and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages here. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance this month. This is going to be a general reading, therefore the messages are going to be general guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So once again, these messages are intended for Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. We'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you this month. Got the World card here. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, the Star, Tower, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Okay, you've got some beautiful cards here. Don't panic. I know a lot of people tend to feel a little bit um, uncomfortable when they see the tower but I honestly feel like it's a blessing in disguise and especially for you Aqua because it will be very cleansing here. There are definitely going to be endings and new beginnings for you this month in terms of relationships, romantic, um, connecting energies, friendships here. For some of you, I'm hearing that you're finally going to be receiving the closure that you need in order to move forward for something. Now, this feels absolutely important and very instrumental in, um, in moving forward with any future relationships. Because Aquarius, there's someone here that you've been really hung up on. Or there's some sort of chapter that you keep rereading and you cannot seem to put the book down. Finally, this month, maybe something that something someone says, um, a book you read or a quote you come across or come across or just the energy field that you're in, you're finally able to let go of someone or something. Forgetting someone, letting go of something or someone doesn't mean you have to forget it. Okay, no one is asking you to forget, you know, that person ever existed or the you know the wonderful memories you created with it, with them. But I am seeing that there's something here that, you know, you've been holding on to something. Maybe it's like a hope that one day the two of you will reconnect or it's some lingering emotion. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're going to, there's, there's an acceptance that comes with this energy. And it's the very thing that's going to help you heal and transform yourself so that you're able to move forward here. Okay, so I'm seeing closures. But often endings do invite new beginnings. So something I feel like disguises itself. Um, I feel like a new beginning disguises itself as an ending. So for instance... Or it may just be you connect with someone here who gives you that closure. So someone here may reach out to you from the blue. And you know what? All this time you thought, Aqua, you know, you're still into them and you're still hung up on them. And then when you do have the opportunity and you connect with this person, you realize just how you've just, you know, just how much you've actually moved on from them. Okay? There's a sudden dawn of uh, epiphany, a realization, a light bulb moment that really triggers something inside of you here and allows you to accept what was, accept what will be and just move forward. Some of you are moving forward with this person, some of you are moving forward without that person but it's okay because you're more than okay with leaving them behind because you know they're not going where you're going here and there's no hard feelings as well. Um, some of you are going to be connecting with someone very, very special online, okay? And I do feel like this is the beginning of something. So take it slow. Don't rush this because this could last a very long time, Aquarius. Um, it's online, someone from a different culture, country or cultural background to you. Someone who I feel like has an accent. Someone who is quite unique, okay? They march to the beat of their own drum. A lovely energy here. Um, someone different from your usual type. I also feel like this person either has a very significant scar or a tattoo, like a tattoo of a star. Just a very unique um, scar here. Uh, okay. Now, with the Ten of Wands energy, I feel like be careful not to... Be careful not to... Don't try... Okay, how do I make it? How do I make this? How do I make... How do I say this so it makes sense? Some of you, you haven't manifested that ideal relationship or that, you know, you haven't manifested that particular person's energy into your life because you're trying too hard, okay? Um, and I'm not saying don't try. I'm just saying don't try too hard because sometimes when we come from a place of desperation, it backfires here, Aqua. So, you know, yes, you can chase those desires, chase that dream, you know, want that person, want that relationship, want that partner, but do not over-apply and overextend yourself. 
make it so that they match your level of effort, okay? Because that's what's absolutely important. Because if you're going to try and force feed or try and twist someone's arm into submission, it's not going to work, Aqua. You're only going to end up hurting yourself in the long run. Um, some of you, I did see that there's a new exciting romantic prospect coming in. For some of you, you're going to meet this person. Again, I feel like um, you could connect with them online. Uh, for others of you, this is someone from a different cultural background. They could be like on a working visa or a cultural visa. Apologies for the background noise. But this person is going to bring a lot of excitement into your life. I do feel like they're not going to stay very long for some of you though. Okay, I feel like this person maybe isn't after a relationship or after a commitment. But you know what? They're not going to hide that. I feel like they're going to be very open about their intentions, about what they want from the get-go. And I feel like this is something that you're going to be... Um, very okay with Aqua because maybe some of you aren't exactly looking for a relationship where you're not looking to settle down and you know um, have the white picket fence and all and I feel like for some of you that's going to suit you just fine this person is going to bring a lot of excitement a lot of romance a lot of passion a lot of adventure a lot of fun a lot of thrill seeking energy into your life okay every day will with them um, every moment spent with them will be very exciting exhilarating this is an energy that I feel like is very restless, um, is always moving, okay? Um, very restless here. Very young at heart. They could be a lot younger than yourself here, or this is just a very youthful kind of energy that I'm picking up here. Now with the star card and the tower, for some of you I feel like there is a, you will get an opportunity to heal a situation, okay? Or I feel like this month um, requires for you to take a closer look at something that needs healing so whether it's you yourself that needs healing a past hurt a resentment a relationship a situation whatever it needs that need that needs healing i feel like you will have an opportunity to do that this month um, it's important that you do heal those wounds here aqua because if you don't they'll continue to fester and bleed into the present um, and bleed all over any future relationships so make sure before you enter into a relationship that you know you nurture and you tend to any um any open wounds here okay now with the tower card i did say that some of you are going to have endings of some sort okay some relationships some connections could be ending for some of you someone comes in stays in your life briefly and then ends don't chase anyone okay do not chase anyone um well for some of you for instance you know this person this energy that i feel like comes into your life and stays for a fleeting um chapter and they close the door shut behind them Knock on the door once, knock on the door twice, but if this person isn't answering, then I feel like that's your cue to go. Don't chase anyone because the people that, you know, want to stay the course, they'll make the effort to do so. And the other thing is, you know, some people enter our lives briefly, momentarily, and then there's not much more they can do for us, okay? They play their part, okay, and they leave. So... Do not chase anyone here is what I'm getting Aquarius because anyone that takes an exit from your life this month does so because the universe wants to invite someone else in. So this is like the universe's way of saying, okay, you know, this person no longer serves a purpose in your life. This person, you know, cannot do anything more for you. Um, it's their cue to leave. And once they take an exit from your life, understand that there is something bigger and better coming in for you. Okay, so it's all part of the process trust the process okay what am i seeing i'm seeing breakthroughs i'm seeing breakthroughs in communication and breakthroughs in love and romance for a lot of you i do see a, a lot of healing so this month is going to be very healing especially in terms of you know healing any past situations or wounds some of you i feel like you will have the you have an opportunity to get in contact with a past energy for some of you this is someone who i feel like has ended things very abruptly with you they might have ghosted you they might have just um, you know, did the slow fade here, but I feel like this person, they come back, and I feel like Aquarius, you being the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're going to hold yourself accountable, but you're also going to hold them accountable and responsible for their actions, and this is going to um, generate a bit of a breakthrough, whereas I feel like you're really going to call this person out, but they want to step up to the plate, and they will. Like, for example, you know, they'll, you'll know you demand an apology, and they'll give you that. You'll demand an explanation, and they'll give you that. I feel like this person wants to hold themselves accountable as well. So for a lot of you, I do feel like there is a, um, I'm going to call it a, a second chance on a missed opportunity, or a second chance on a relationship that, you know, 
probably didn't get off on the right foot to begin with. So a lot of breakthroughs in terms of um, communication, okay, a lot of breakthroughs in terms of communication, and breakthroughs in terms of love, romance, and healing energies as well. Okay, Aqua, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys.